Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and RedDesignTechTips.com. We had a great question come up. Somebody wanted to have a long image and be able to scroll down it. And also to have a little module with a lot of text in it and to be able to scroll down it to read the text also. Really easy to do. We've done this sort of thing before, but I actually did it with a hover effect that when they put their mouse on it, it automatically does that. But this time we're going to do it so it actually reveals a scroll bar to the side and it'll manually enable it be scrolled from top to bottom, bottom to top, whichever way around you want to do it. Really easy to do. Let me take you through it. Okay, so here we have our site. I've got an image here. It's a really long image. I've got some text here and there's quite a lot of it. I've got it taking up a small bit of real estate here, as you can see. But I've got a scroll on the right hand side where I can scroll down or we can reveal the whole of the image there. And if we have a look on this side, exactly the same thing, but I'm just using call to action module. And you can put a lot of content in there and not have it take up too much real estate. Plus it's an extra little interactive feature for your viewers there. Really easy to do, so get, let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Now let's go down and I'll delete this row I've got here. Green tab for the row. And we'll start from scratch. I'm going to add a row with two columns. And the first thing I'll demonstrate here is the image. And it's exactly the same process for both. So let's pop in an image. I've got a very long image here. As you can see, there's a, it's a screenshot of a website. Let's upload that one. And I'll leave that just like it is. And if we scroll down, as you can see, that takes up an awful lot of the page there, which is fine if you want it like that. But as you saw, I want about this much of it. I don't want people to be able to scroll down at their ease and be able to do it. And let's add another little module over here. You can use any module you want for this. Obviously, it wants to be a text module if you're using text. I'm going to use a call to action. And let's just give it a title. And we'll have a button. Let's say perhaps by now, if send people to a link or wherever you want to send your people, obviously. And in the content, give it a bit of content about Divi. Quite a lot of content there and before the actual buttons are going to show up we need to put a link in it down below here i'll just put a hashtag for a placeholder once i do that you'll see the button turn up there great well background wise i think i'm going to change that to the default blue obviously styling is completely up to you and i think i'd like to justify that text so if i click on the little paintbrush attached to it right there it takes us straight to it i'm going to go ahead and justify this and I'd also like a little bit more space between the title and the text there. So I'm going to hit the little paintbrush attached to the title there. Let's make it semi-bold. And to give it a bit more space, I'm going to use line height for that here. I'm just going to ramp the line height up a little bit. That'll give it a bit more breathing room there. Great. Well, let's make this how I want it. A, I want these both the same size, and B, like I mentioned earlier, I want a little scroll bar so they can scroll down them. So let's go into the row itself. Again, click anywhere. Green tab for a row. Going to hit the little cog to go in there. We've got two columns. I'm going to work on the columns individually. So I'm going to go into our first column, which is the image here. I'm going to go over to advanced. I've got to add one tiny little bit of CSS code. Okay, well, to make this work today, we've got to do a tiny bit of CSS coding. Don't let that put you off. CSS is not scary. It's really easy. And it's literally two words with a colon in between it. And I'll take you through it. And I'll also put it down below for the video if anybody wants to copy and paste. But it's so simple, you'll just want to type it out. Um, there's only, like I say, that one tiny little bit of CSS coding. But we're also going to do a little bit with the visibility with the overflow now what for anybody that doesn't know what overflow is if you set a fixed height to a section a column a row or even a module 
Anything that falls out of that fixed height is called overflow, whether it falls out to the top, sides, left, right. If you watch any of my hover effects videos, you would have seen this demonstrated several times. So what we're actually going to do is enable vertical scroll on the columns that these modules in. So they've got a little scroll bar up the side. They can manually go up and down to their heart's content. And again, really easy to do. So let's get back to the build. So I'm going to go down to custom CSS here. I'm going to click on the module elements tab. You could do it in the free form, but easiest way is to go to module elements and in the main element. Once I put my cursor in there, I'm just going to write height, H E I G H T colon and the height that you want. I think I use 400 pixels for mine. I'll put a little semicolon after that in case I want to add some more code and you won't notice much difference at the moment because of the one next door. But if I roll down, as you can see here, the section now is overlapping our little image here and we can fix that in a moment. Now to get it just to show the 400 pixels height, we've got to hide any overflow. Overflow is anything that spills outside of our 400 pixels there. We don't need to do any more coding for this. If I just close up the custom CSS here, we can go down to visibility Vertical overflow here. I'm going to change it from default to scroll. And as I mentioned earlier, if you've watched any of my hover effects videos, you'll be familiar with overflows. And instantly you can see we've got a little scroll bar here, which will enable us to scroll all the way down our little image. Absolutely perfect. I'm going to do exactly the same to the one next door so we can shrink this whole section up. So I'm going to save the column settings. It'll take us back to the row with our other column. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to go into the content over to advanced, custom CSS, module elements again, main element, height, H-E-I-G-H-T, colon. I'll give this one 400 pixels too. And again, we need to hide that overflow. If you want to, depending on the size of your images or text or what have you, you can change this height for mobile and tablet by hovering over, clicking on the little mobile phone icon there. You can have a completely different value for tablet if you want to, and a completely different value for phone. For me, that's going to work on all devices, but that is an option if you want different heights for those devices there. Great, and we know what to do next. Going to go down to visibility, vertical overflow. Going to change it to scroll. Fantastic. And A, they're both the same height now, those modules. And people can scroll down, get to the button at the bottom, whatever you have going on with yours. Let's make sure this is all going to work on the front end. Pretty sure that it will. Save changes there. Save the row changes. We'll save the page changes. Hit the little purple button here. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. There's the image on the left with our little scroll bar on the right of it. When I pull it down, we can scroll throughout the image. And if you want to, you can have that image open in a light box also. And here's our little call to action module. And again, got a little scroll bar on the right. You can scroll all the way down, click on the buy it now button, scroll back. And like I say, that is great for putting a small bit of real estate and having a lot of content in it. I apologize, I can't remember the name of the person that requested this, but thanks for your comment. And I hope this has answered your question. As you can see, that's really easy to do and absolutely minimal bit of coding there. For anybody that wants it, I will put that CSS down below, but it's a great idea to get into the habit of actually writing it, as I mentioned earlier. Fantastic. That is working just exactly how I wanted it to. So there we have it. There's how to enable a vertical scroll on any module you like using the Divi theme, as you can see, really easy to do. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment. It's always great to hear from you and subscribe to the YouTube channel. The comments down there are really important because as with this video and a lot of other videos, it gives me ideas to create new videos that may help you out.
And if you've enjoyed this today and enjoy CSS, have a look over here in a moment. I'll have a simple CSS playlist there that you can click on. There'll pr probably be something there that may interest you. Now, don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video like this one. Now, once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesign on techtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.